Chuck Fresh, the PCGYN. This is Computer Care Clinic's tip of the day. Now, we've got a bunch of people who want to replace their own hard drives. And the most common failure in a computer, in any computer, is going to be the hard drive, especially the ones with moving platters. Now, we are moving towards solid state, but the prices are still a little obnoxious. Uh, I believe it's still about 50 cents a gigabyte. And that will go down um, towards the end of 2015, early 2016. And, and that will be probably the way to go. We're, the jury's still out on reliability and all this thing. So we're che- keeping a real close eye on it. And we'll do a video as they come along. But in the meantime, if you're looking for an affordable replacement for a desktop computer, also for a laptop, but let's look at desktops for the, for the, uh, for the cause of this video. We're going to look at the uh, Western Digital Company because they are uh, probably the biggest hard drive company in the world right now. They've just acquired uh, somebody else. I thought it was Seagate, but I may be wrong on that. But uh, whatever. Anyway, what they've done now is they've divided all their hard drives into these color segments, which should be a little bit easier to identify and tell the difference between them. Now, each one of these colors does something a little bit different. Uh, The blue and the green are the ones you're going to find in typical, you know, HP and Gateway computers. It, and that's important to realize, too, is all these computers, no matter what brand, your Gateway, your HP, your Dell, they're all using the same internal parts. There's only a couple different companies that make all this stuff. Even Apple uses the same parts in those computers that you're going to find in a PC. So a lot of companies use Western Digital Drives, and typically in a store-bought consumer computer, you're going to find WD Blues or WD Greens, which are pretty good drives. But as you can see, it's kind of the lower end of the Western Digital spectrum. So they go blue, green, black, red, and then purple supposedly is their best stuff, and I'll tell you why in a second. So um, just looking at the warranties here, you can tell that the blue and green are two-year warranties. Uh, The blue, uh, I guess it's just their basic computer available all the way up to a terabyte. The green, you can get up to six terabytes, and that's supposed to be their uh, power-saving drive. Um, There's not much difference in power consumption on here, but uh, we could check that out too. There's a whole bunch of information on Western Digital's website at WDC.com. But we're going to look at... Uh, when we do, as Computer Care Clinic, when we replace hard drives, we use only the top quality parts. So we stick in the black, red, purple category. Now, they're going to cost a little bit more, but you'll see that their warranties are better. So you know the mean time between failure, which is how all electronic companies rate their products. Uh, it used to be public knowledge, but now it's kind of a sneakily hell. They trade secret. I suppose. Uh, some of the companies do provide their MTBF studies, which mean time between failure is really... Uh, the number of hours they expect a certain electronic to last. And when you get to the black, red, and the purple series, you're increasing dramatically the mean time between failure, which means the average life expectancy of the drive. So um, looking at the black, um, this is what they recommend that you put in a performance computer. If you're going to build a gaming computer or something that does Photoshop or video editing, Um, It's supposed to be really, really fast, really reliable, and it comes with the best warranty they have at a five-year warranty. So black is what we usually use for consumer computers. However, if it's a power user or a server or something that's on all the time, not really a server server, they have a different category of drive for servers, but if it's a a security system or something else, we might want to bump up to a RAID drive. Um, This is what they're using in the NAS or Network Attached Storage. They're using the RAID. And some people are even using the purple drives. And the purples are built for um, surveillance. And these are for uh, companies or homes that have a surveillance system. And those cameras are on, running, recording 24-7. So according to Western Digital, their purple series is their most reliable drive. And they know these things are going to be on 24-7. And they give you a three-year warranty on that. Um, Price-wise, they're not that different. Surprisingly, you would think that the the different um, colors would be uh, a a lot more expensive as you got all the way up to the purple. But looking at a one terabyte here on Newegg, it's sixty six ninety nine if you're a uh, premier member and uh, bumping up to the black series. The next one here, it's about seventy five bucks. And when you go to purple, it looks like it's on sale for sixty five. So supposedly it is on sale. So supposedly your best, most reliable hard drive the purple series is about the same price as their red just a few bucks difference and the black which is a performance drive with the longer warranty is going to be a few bucks extra but um, what i'm trying to say here is the prices are very very comparable now is there a big difference in performance between the black and the purple and the red i can't honestly answer that question and i don't know if there are any studies that have compared these 
if there is a difference, I would have to guess that it would be negligible, and you would probably never know the difference. So what we do is we ask customers what they do with their computers. And in most cases, we're going to go with a purple or a red. If it's a gaming computer, we'll probably do a black because there may be some kind of perceived performance bump in the Black Series. Again, I don't know. But there's a lot more information about that on Western Digital's website. And also on Newegg's very, very helpful website. Read the reviews. There's 315 reviews on this black one, and the purple has got seven. It's a little new. I guess it's a new one. And, um, again, use uh, take these reviews with a grain of salt. A lot of people write them a day after they got the hard drive, and how much experience can you have a day after you got a hard drive? None, exactly. So, hey, I just put it in and it hasn't imploded yet. So take a look at those and uh, read the reviews. Obviously, uh, ones with more reviews, the 315, are going to be a little bit more reliable. And just kind of read through them, see what other people's experiences are. They can update as they go along, too. But that's the Western Digital Hard Drive Breakdown. Um, it goes from blue, green, black, red, and purple. And um, again, for more information and to make a choice on what you're going to do if you're a do-it-yourselfer, take a look at WDDC.com. There's a whole bunch of spec sheets and other information and PDFs you can take a look at with a lot more information. In the meantime, between failures may actually be buried in that information, too. My name is Chuck Fresh. I'm the PCGYN. This is Computer Care Clinic's Tip of the Day.